You have a minute? I, uh, well, I wanted to talk about something. Yeah, go ahead. I've been thinking back lately on how things were for me when we first met. It was the lowest point of my life. I mean, all my closest friends were dead. Everything I believed in had turned out to be a lie. I'd failed everyone who ever relied on me. I'd led them to Concord, and we had no hope of getting out alive. The thing is, that was actually okay with me. I was ready to die. It was what I felt I deserved. It was what I wanted. You did your best, Preston. You can't blame yourself for what happened. I knew it wasn't all on me, but I made my share of bad decisions along the way. I've got to live with that. My point in all of this is that, well, you saved my life. And not just by saving us from those raiders in Concord. I mean that you made me want to keep living again. I guess that sounds pretty sappy, but it's true. If we hadn't met, or if you'd killed those raiders and then just taken off, I don't know if I'd still be around. I think I would have found some way to you know, ended. Maybe not by shooting myself in the head or anything, but just by not caring about staying alive. So I just wanted you to know that, how much our friendship has meant to me. Have you ever thought about us becoming more than just friends? Have I ever? You mean you've also? Hold on. You kind of caught me off guard there. Let me start over. If you're asking if I've ever thought about you romantically, the short answer is yes. But I didn't ever imagine that you could feel the same way about me. I mean, I know she's gone, but you still seem to be in love with your wife. I didn't think you were ready to move on. You're right, Preston. I'm not ready to move on. I'm sorry. I understand completely. There's nothing to apologize for. I hope this... ...doesn't make things awkward between us. You don't need to worry about me. I'll be fine. I'm glad that I had a chance to say it. Even though the outcome wasn't what I'd hoped for. Now I've said it, we can move on.